Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the details about reduced incident matrix. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic. Reduced incident matrix available in the network topology. The complete incident matrix separate video available. So the complete incident matrix means it will give the information about number of nodes, number of branches, how it is connected, whether it is connected or not, if it is connected, whether it is away from the node or towards the node, that information given by the complete incident matrix. This one reduced incident matrix represented by A. We will see what is the reduced incident matrix. When one row is eliminated from the complete incident matrix, the remaining matrix is called a reduced incident matrix. So, in a complete incident matrix, if you eliminate one row, that is called a, a reduced incident matrix. Now, we will see the example problem so that we are able to understand easily. We will see the example. Obtain the complete and reduced incident matrix for the graph shown below. So, this is called a oriented graph. Oriented graph means represented by the line as well as the direction. Only lines are, all elements are replaced by the line. It is called a graph. The directions also available mean it is called a oriented graph. So, in this graph, this red color lines represented the nodes. There are 5 nodes available. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Node is nothing but the, ele the point where the ele various elements are connected. This is the branch. Branch is nothing but connected between the nodes. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 branches are available. 5 nodes and 6 branches are available. So, the matrix having 5 rows and 6 columns. Node will decide the number of rows. Branch will decide the number of columns. So, this is coming under 5 into 6, 5 cross 6 matrix. Right. So, this is the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 node. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is the branches. Now, we will see the, the relation between how the branches are connected. First, we will consider the node 1. Node 1, the branch is going away. If it is going away, means represented by 1. Then, branch 2 also going away. So, represented by 1. Branch 3 is not connected. So, 0 and 4, 5, 6 also not connected, 0. So, not connected means 0, away from the node means 1, towards the node means minus 1, that is the procedure. So, here 1 and 2 away from the node, remainings are not connected, 0. Now, consider the second, second node. Second node, first branch is not connected, 0. Second branch coming inside, so minus 1. Third branch going away, so plus 1. Fourth branch also going away, so plus 1. 5 and 6 not connected to node 2, 5 and 6, so 0. Now we will go to the third, third node. See 1, 2, 3 is not connected. So 1, 2, 3 are not connected. Only 4 is connected, 6 is connected. 5 also not connected, so 5 also 0. 4 is coming inside. So, minus 1. 6 is going away. So, plus 1. Now, we will go to the fourth node. Fourth node, first branch coming inside. Minus 1. Second branch not connected. 0. Third branch coming inside. Minus 1. Fourth branch not connected. 0. Fifth branch going away. Plus 1. 6 is not connected to 4th node, so 0. Then we will see the 5th node. In 5th node, only 5 and 6 coming inside. So, minus 1, minus 1. 1, 2, 3, 4 not connected, so zeros. So, this is the called a incident matrix, complete incident matrix, having 5 rows and 6 columns. Now, we can write these values as a in the form of matrix, in the matrix format. 
so this a a a suffix a is nothing but a complete incident matrix these values are written five rows and six columns in this if the fifth column is eliminated we can eliminate any column any row either first row second row any row we can eliminate in this problem fifth row is eliminated so the remaining is written here one two three four only four rows are first to four rows are available fifth row is eliminated is represented by a it's called a reduced incident matrix so fifth row is eliminated so that it is called a reduced incident matrix represented by a so in this video we discuss how to frame the reduced incident matrix we solved one problem from the oriented graph first complete incident matrix is framed from that fifth row is eliminated so that we can frame the reduced incident matrix we can eliminate any any row first row second row or any row can be eliminated in this problem fifth row is eliminated subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box thank you for listening